Okay guys, uh, in this video, okay, I want to welcome you all again. Thank you so much for joining me. Okay, um, in this video, I'm here again in the basketball yard, covered in sweat. It's a boiling hot tropical day here. <laughs> boiling hot sunshine. Um, I've got this big circle here and I'm going to do some more shadow boxing with a kung fu essence to it, okay? Um, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to um, go again with Wing Chun and maybe some Tai Chi, but it's mostly Wing Chun. I'm going to focus on it. Maybe some Tai Chi in there. Wing Chun's my main style, as I say. I'll do a bit of both, but um, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to do it different this time. Rather than uh, just standing there or moving to different positions or rather than like, moving around in the circle, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay on the edge of the circle with my back to it as though my opponent or opponents in my mind imagining imagining that they are trapping me against the wall and I'm having to work my way against the wall or use the wall imagining that that circle is a wall behind me basically uh, and imagining that I have to work on it or having to stay on that with my back facing the outside okay it could be facing the outside you could be like protecting something on the inside or you could be trying to keep someone in there <laughs> but no, I'm just saying you know for the training in your mind I'm going to stay in the circle and I imagine that someone's trying to push me off. I could also, I could also imagine that this gr this green area outside here, outside of the circle, is actually deep water filled with, you know, alligators or whatever, you know. But I'm just saying, I'm just going to stay by the edge there, you know, and I'm just imagining that I'm going to have to try to fight against the attackers by using whatever means possible: traps, blocks, counter strikes, you know, throws, trying to throw them out or away from me at least. And again, things like, I can imagine also opponents coming from behind and trying to attack, which I can also, you know, work against. So I'm going to stay on that circle there, facing the inside, and I can move around the circle. So, get, so I'm working that sidestepping as well, you know, while having to face multiple opponents and, and deal with them, okay, in my mind, either one or, or multiple. Let's get on with this. Thanks for watching. Okay, but mainly Wing Chun, a bit of Tai Chi too, seeing how I can flow it in, okay? Look for the um, similarities in what training you do, even if they're just slight, slight or whatever. Look for the similarities or in different styles. It's always good. It's my way of training, as I say. That's a very simple one there, <laughs> didn't do too much, but kind of keeping it it's kind of slow. And uh, I kept wanting to face the other side, because you know, I'm usually used to turning to face the other way. And it's a good habit too, because although you want to stay focused, like keep your face in the opponent, until you're sure it's self-defense, you know, um, it's still important to um, learn to always change positions, you know, and then to keep changing so you're alive and alert and awake, and uh, be able to change, and it's, which can be harder, you know, sometimes it depends. As you see, I didn't do much Tai Chi in this, it was just Wing Chun mainly. But thank you very much for watching. Take care, it's my way to train and take care now.